guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 12 to 10 of Season 2 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Which sucks because, okay, let me say this real quick. Like, wouldn't it just be possible if mine's family could just also stay at the church for the duration of winter so that she could spend Christmas and everything with them? But I get the fact is because mine is, you know, a priest or how I like to sometimes say a priest in training, she has to follow the rules. So no matter how many times she might even ask the head priest, he still might say no. Or be against it or something. And it's a little unfair because, I mean, you're supposed to spend time with your family during the holidays. And she's going to be by herself. Which is unfair. I'm just saying. And plus, your mom's pregnant. Like, you're getting ready for the new baby to come. Gotta be ready for that. What if the baby comes during winter? Let's think about that. There's so many endless possibilities of what could happen in this episode. Mm -hmm. Come here, Cody. Come here. I know. Okay. All right. That, that's better. Even though I would have liked them to stay there with her, but... No, not my puppy. Come here. Come here, Cody. Come here. Alright. No, don't hop out of my hands, please. Thank you. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even want you to get sick. It'll be sad to tell them that, but... <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. 
and it'll just be for winter. Well, if she stays there, she'll be more time. But she won't be living by herself. There's nothing she can do. She has to go. If she doesn't go, what could possibly happen to those kids? Those kids would get sick. She would blame herself. Mm -hmm. But still, it would have been better if her family was just able to come with her and just stay with her there too. And then once winter was over, they could all go back home. Work shopping? Make glue with the pig skin? How in the world do you make glue with pig? Unless they're using the pig skin for something else? I don't know. My mind right now. I'm blown. <laughs> yeah, I know that doesn't sound fun. Gotta be done, you
But then the question is, like, I mean, is it just a writer who just comes with the request, or is it just something else? That's how it comes? I was expecting, you know, an actual name. Turn back into a bird. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So basically, it's just a messenger, almost like um, a held butterfly from Bleach or anything else. I mean, it's really important, so. Okay. So then what is your role in this then? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cute. They're gonna, oh, okay. Because that was the question I wanted to ask. I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we are going way into the fantasy route with this.
kind of just in like a different room. Oh, like that, like a different freaking world. Like, now we've gone way, 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 way deep into the isekai. It's like, oh my god. Okay, I thought he was going to say something rude, like, oh, hey, she's a child, she could be condoning into this. Where the tree? Oh! So basically, y'all are just here to kill the tree, the trauma. I mean, that makes sense. So mine's maybe just gonna bless the crap out of it, and it'll just like be. Be 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 team. Ah, uh, okay. Are you telling me this thing is walking too?
think there's always one. Why is there always one mean bird? <laughs> you would end right there, too. Oh, my God. It sucks. <laughs> we gotta wait till next Saturday to find out how this is all gonna transpire. Okay. So, dude with the green hair. We don't like him. So, we don't trust him. He seems like an a-hole. But, you know, the biggest thing is you kind of want to know what is his deal, what is his problem, and why is he such an ass? I think mine, as of right now, she's doing a really good job in what she's doing, but the big testimony is going to be next week and seeing how she's going to do with healing the soil. I mean, we're going to see the freaking head priestess in action, and I think that's going to be interesting. Him dressed as a knight is actually really interesting. I never would have thought that this show would have went more into the fantasy world, especially with the mana and everything. I thought it was just going to be a typical, normal isekai stuff, but I'm I'm actually glad that they're bringing a little S of fantasy in it. It's interesting. It makes you wonder if we're going to get a couple more episodes where we're in the noble world and we get to see what they do. And it's like that. I mean, it would be nice if we couldn't get it into a second season. Wait, well, this is still season one. If it got a second season and if there was like an episode or a whole season where mine got the opportunity to go there and stay there and learn more teachings, that would be nice. But really, who knows? Maybe it happens in the book series. No. Well, she is a reader. <laughs> she likes so cute. Oh my god. But yeah, like learning about the rest of this world and what it has like become and seeing like, okay, I really want to say it's like the lower, middle, and upper class of it, especially with the novels. It's interesting. But still, I would like an episode that goes more into depth on these novels and what they do besides this episode and next week's episode. They're going to probably go a little more in depth, but not like to what I want it to go. Where it's like, oh, hey, here's a whole episode of mine just hanging out with them and it's like that. I think it's just going to like be maybe 15 minutes on it and then that's it the next like half of the episode could be like whatever who really knows but i mean i feel like the guy in, with the green hair he's gonna do something that's gonna make this whole mission be an utter disaster with the fact is like he said that her blessings were like meaningless that it's possibly not really gonna do anything to help them and in the end, the head priest is going to be bad at mine because of something going to happen next week. I really don't know. But she's just going to be like, it wasn't me. It was him. I don't know. I have no clue. We ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 10 of season 2 of Ascendant to the Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode 11. Bye guys!